One of the things that I find very common um, when we're on this path is that we think like if we're in the mind, then we think we need to be in the body. Or if we're in the body, we, uh, we don't think we need to be in the mind, but we often get pulled into the mind by something, right? So it's, it's this like conundrum of like not, of not knowing what direction to go to and not knowing what to orient to. Um, and so I would say like, as a general rule to orient to the body and get out of the mind and orient to the body is a very great thing. And nature definitely helps with that, of course. Energy movement practices definitely help with that as well. Um, so I would say as a general rule, a rule to do that is very good, but also there's a lot of times that our mind is just busy and it needs our attention. And so that's where we can use that same intention to orient to our body to say, okay, there's a belief here that says, this is too much for me. I can't think anymore. I wanna get out of my mind, right? And it's beautiful that you have the opportunity to go walk in nature and help ground yourself, right? I would say maybe do that and while you're, while you're doing that and your mind is still full and you're busy here, I'm gonna give this space my attention. I'm gonna put my attention here. I'm gonna orient to my mind. It's okay to think too much. It's okay right now, but yeah. You know, just, just let it be. And then also, I know this, like it's a pressure, it's a, it becomes a headache, it just becomes too much energy in the mind. So, when you, you can orient to the space of thinking and just go, wow, this is chaotic. It's okay, but it's okay. Like it's busy, but it's okay. I'm not gonna move away from you. If you wanna orient to your body, orient to your body and find a point in there. And if your mind is busy, orient to your mind and find a point in there. So the space of your mind. And then the other thing you can do, if that is just like, whoa, that's just too overwhelming, I just can't. But the other thing is like, you can't kind of orient out of it. You don't. When it's that busy, you just don't have that available available at your, um, right? So um, orient to the sensation, right? So it's like the energy, like you can feel when your mind is that busy, you de there's definitely an energetic component, right? So you can feel, you can even just touch it and like just feel the energy there. The energy around wherever your head is, just the space of your head maybe the skin, maybe just feeling like when you're walking, you're feeling like you're still in this area, right? In the head area, but you're at sort of oriented in a different way. So you're letting your attention, like when we're trying to orient our attention from our mind to our body, it's sort of a big jump. So what I'm, what I'm explaining here is sort of like slowly moving it out of like what feels like such an inside small space to like, okay, well, can I feel my eyes blinking? Can I feel the the air on my skin, on my face. Can I, I feel the, what's in my mouth? Maybe food or some flavor or just saliva. Can I feel the tightness and move? Can I feel the pressure points? And so to stay in that area because that's where your attention is already concentrated in. And then that might help move. You might then go down the neck and into the shoulders and then like move through like tightness points in your body. That's, that's what I find really helpful. But also just if you don't move, also just trying to just stay with it. Like I'm just gonna be with busy thoughts. It's the resistance that feels so bad. It's and it says this experience isn't right. So the experience you're having, busy mind, um, busy body, a lot of energy, headache, pain, joy, whatever experience you're physically having is already free. It's already freedom. It's already love. It's already freedom. It's just, there's a thought there that says, this isn't where my attention should be, or this isn't what I should be doing right now, or this is too much for me. Right. And those thoughts are the resistance thoughts and they make you feel at distance to it. So now you feel like you're over here observing this thing that you kind of want to get out of, but you can't get out of. So the one pointedness is closing that gap. Okay. Even though I really want to run away from this, but I know that I can't, I'm going to just try to get as close as I can to it. And maybe you get as close as you can by the sensations again in your physical head. And then 
from there, instead of going down the body into the neck and shoulders, you can go directly into that point that feels like inside. It feels like inside where I think 